I've been raised with daffodils. They've been my whole life since I was born. The best part of my job is the creation of the product that you get to, to send out every day and brings happiness to people and they can enjoy that. Our flowers go to basically all parts of Australia. The best part of my job is the satisfaction of supplying a quality product. We probably at a peak of a season pick 10,000 bunches a day. We go from season to season and different things are happening and every day you get up there's something exciting going to happen. I'm John Blythe. Uh, I've been in the business since I was 17 and uh, I'm now 83. My dad, he was a builder as a young man in the 30s. He was probably just married a few weeks when the depression came on and uh, no work about. He uh, lost his house and that really set him back for a long time during his life. Dad and my uncle moved to Baronia uh, to start again and in 1945 that's where the business started and uh, we went on from there. I've got three sons, Peter, Nick and David, and they work with me in the business too. I think between the three of us, we sort of fit in well together and we've stuck at it because of that. We have 400 hectares of land and we would probably have 60 hectares of daffodils and work on a five or six year rotation of pasture and so the rest of it's back to pasture for cattle. It's uh, quite a difficult process, harvesting our flowers. It's harvested over many weeks. All the daffodils have to be picked before they open. They just have to make sure that they don't damage the foliage picking them because that has to put the energy back into the bulb for next year to produce the flower. When you get a freezing cold day of two or three degrees, you don't get as many flowering, so there's never as many to pick. But if you had 16, 17 degrees with a warm night, you might have five times or six times the crop to pick that day. All these daffodils that you see are open, so they've gone too far. The modern varieties of daffodils are a vast improvement on what we've grown in the past. We used to have daffodils where you had one flower here and then another one about three feet up the row, but these days they're just thick like hairs on a dog's back, the flowers. This is Avalanche. They're known as a Tazetta, but people know them as a John Quill. They're getting very popular these days in that they've got long life and uh, good value. Here we have Holland's Chase, a very nice yellow double, and they flower late in the season. They're very colourful and, and uh, lovely strong stems on them. This daffodil is Fragrant Breeze. It certainly caters for the public that like these lighter colours. And there we've got Replete. It's a nice pink double daffodil that you've seen and uh, it comes here again at the end of the season. Daffodils and jonquils are one of the easiest gardening plants to grow. They're almost a set and forget. I think the secret uh, for us to grow good daffodils uh, is to start with healthy stock. They do well in good soil with moderate rainfall, require very little fertiliser, if any. You can leave them for several years in the one spot and they really do improve. They're good like that. One of our practices over all the, the years has been that the boys have always come in and had lunch with Rodman and I. Yeah. I'll pick three double daffodils after lunch and that'll be the day and then probably a few pearls, but no daffodils. It's too cold. It gives us a great opportunity to talk about what's happening on the farm, any problems that are going on, and uh, to talk it out and to solve those problems before they get to be bigger ones. He's quite easy to look up to because he's, uh, he's done things tough over the years. He's done things on his own. He hasn't had uh, very much help at all and uh, still managed to persevere and and build up the company to what it is today. Dad's always encouraged us in the business and helped us out with whatever we want to do, so 
that's always been very good. Our dad's instilled in us a good work ethic and been a stabilising factor. He's a pretty good bloke. They're really good boys. They're hard working, uh, extremely honest. And I think a third thing is that I think they like to do things very well and uh, enjoy what they're doing too. Unfortunately, I've had to cut back a, quite a lot on what I like to do and like to be involved in. I love the garden around the house. I haven't got a show garden, but uh, I like what happens from the seasons. I've got some lovely flowering trees. Uh, the daffodils flower in the spring and then when they die down, lilies come up. The other thing I like about my garden is I've got openings between all the poplars and I can see out and see the lovely countryside and that's when I think my garden's at its best and I enjoy it most. I think it'd be great if the next generation could come in and work in the business and do some work with us and take over the business and have as much success as the three of us had with our father. I don't have too much in the way of regrets. Probably I wish that um, my dad and my uncle could see the boys these days, uh, but I know that's not possible. <laughs>